The idea of expected frequency really gets to the heart of why we care about probability and chance at all. Because if you understand probability and chance, then you can predict how frequently something will happen, which is kind of like a big freaking deal. The huge like economy that we all rely upon and all interact with, things like insurance, things like your, you know, when I say insurance, like your premiums, that kind of thing, your more like the mortgages that your houses are um, that you live in or flats that you live in are sort of all predicated on all are based on how likely things are happen are to happen in the future okay so i want you to remember you can jot this down under the heading remember the probability of an event we've looked at this before is a fraction right what goes on the numerator and the denominator of our fraction i'll give you a clue it starts with number. It's okay, George. It's fine. Number of... Okay, we'll come to order a little bit later on. For now, we're not even worrying about like getting a whole bunch of things in order. We're just like the chance of a single event. No order. I, I think I heard it. So, number of favorable outcomes. Yeah, very good. So, once you get one, it sort of unfolds the other. It's like there's some event that you're interested in. Some favorable outcome or event. You want to know how many times can that happen? And then how many times or how many different things are possible? And we call these possible outcomes, the total possible outcomes, we call them the sample space, right? So the idea of frequency, frequency, is how many times you do an experiment, right? Like how many times do you flip a coin? How many times do you roll the dice? How many times do you deal out a card? How many times do you repeat this experiment, experiment is the um, technical word for it, multiplied by your probability? Okay, let me say that again. If you want to know how frequently something is likely to happen, um, I'm going to borrow, Elian, did you shuffle them up for me? Thank you. No, I don't. Thank you very much for taking them out. You've got your deck of cards, right? And then you're interested, okay, well, you know, what's the probability, say, of dealing out a spades? Now, you guys know what the probability is. So the frequency, how many times would you expect to get a spade if I, say, dealt out 20 cards, right? Well, I would say, as an example, frequency of, I'm going to try my hand again. Yeah, that looks spade-like, okay? Frequency of spades. If I dealt out, thank you. If I dealt out, we'll make it an easier number. Um, if I dealt out 12 cards, okay? If I went 12 times, I would multiply by the probability, which is, how many suits are there in a deck of cards again? There are four, and it's all equal chance, so I'd say 12 times a quarter. So I would expect if I dealt out 12 cards that I would get how many? 12 times a quarter, which is three. three. So I would expect that I would get three spades. Okay. Now, keep in mind, this is a little bit different, and I'm actually going to grab it here now. It is ever so slightly different to um, dealing out 12 cards. Because think about this, right? If I actually deal out, can you see that? Yeah, you can. Uh, 12 cards. I'm just going to pause there for a second. I'm not done yet, right? I'm not done yet. But look, I've already got three spades. Whoa, three spades. Whoa, that's creepy. Okay. Now, here's the thing, right? When I deal out, the more the spades I deal out, there's actually less and less chance for me to continue dealing out spades, right? Hey, guys, what are you looking for? Um, do you know when the maths competition is what period? It's on Thursday. We're finalizing the period this afternoon. Okay. Is your, are you with your maths teacher right now? Yeah. Mr. Isaac. Hmm. Um, I could look it up for you. Um, you're going to get a notice in the next couple of days, and it's going to be in the daily news as well. So I would just check there. Like we're literally discussing it in our faculty meeting this afternoon. Okay. Okay. Thanks, right, thanks guys. They're keen. <laughs> okay. I'm not. So <clears throat> let me just come back to my previous point. When I'm dealing out cards, right? You guys remember how we've talked about with replacement or without replacement before? You remember that? Okay. Now. If I've dealt out, let's just suppose I've dealt out these three spades now, right? The probability of getting the next spade is not a quarter anymore. Do you see why? Why is it a quarter at the beginning? 
Everything is even, nothing has been touched, nothing's been given out. But if I give out a whole bunch of spades, now there are less spades left in my hand. So actually the probability is less. What we really want, and I need you all to gather your cards, and I hope they're shuffled. What we really want is for 12 of us with our own independent decks of cards. Now do we actually have, because you guys have one between two, right? So do we have, can you hold up your deck of cards for me? Like one of you in the pair, hold up your deck of cards. Just, I want to see how many decks are out. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you guys don't have, you guys don't have decks of cards? You guys have one between the three of you. Okay, so did, you, did I just say eight? I counted to eight, right? Okay, so we, we know, th thanks, that's good, right? We know we can change this fairly easily, right? I can work out the frequency of spades if it's eight cards instead of 12 by just changing this into an eight. So how many would you expect? If it's eight times a quarter, it should be, it should be two, right? Okay, here's what I want you to do. Um, eight decks of cards. I want you to go ahead and take off a card, one card. Diamonds. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a leaf out of um, Akil's book and just go diamonds, clubs, hearts, space. Oh, was it yours, Renee? You, okay, you guys can, you can claim that, that's fine. Okay, hands up diamonds. How many diamonds do we have? Oh, really, zero diamonds? Poor diamonds, that's sad. Okay, clubs, how many clubs? Yes. One, two, three. Hearts, two? Spades? Those are clubs. Four? <laughs> so how many, how many spades do I have? One. Oh, there's my one. I haven't taken it a spade. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm a club as well. That is... How many times you do this experiment, okay? So we just did this experiment eight times. Does that make sense? I did it once, you did it once, you did it once, so all together we did it eight times. Okay, does that make sense? Now, have a look at what we got. It's not what you expected, is it? Right, but that's because this is chance. This is, it's not gonna happen two, 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 two every single time. In fact, let's try again. Shuffle up your cards again, shuffle up your cards. Okay, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, some good shuffling. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. So we're going to do this experiment again eight times and let's see what happens. Are you ready? Can we all do it at the same time? That's some sweet, some sweet shuffling going on. Okay, ready, set, go. Okay, I've got a diamond. Anyone else got a diamond? Two of us? Who's got a club? Any clubs? One? Just the one? Hearts? Whoa. Wait, as in that's, that's one deck, right? Yep. So one, two, three. So does that mean there's two people? Two people? Have we got two spades? One, two. Like so. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm a spade. Wait, but that, that adds up to nine. Do we have you already? I'm so confused. I'm just going to leave it as it is. It adds up to eight. We're doing it eight times. Okay. So you can see what's happening, right? Can we add up? We've now done this, not eight times, but 16 times. So how many would you expect? What is the expected frequency of any of these being that we've done it 16 times? And the answer is four, right? So we've got so far two, six, Five, three. Okay. Shh. One last time. Shuffle again if you haven't already. So easy to amuse you guys on a period six. Okay, all right. So once you've shuffled, say it again. Do I know any tricks? Yeah, I know some tricks. Haven't I shown you some tricks? Yeah. Okay, all right. You ready? You ready? Okay, here we go. And my card is the Ten of Spades. <laughs> ten of Spades. Who else has a spade? Anyone else? No other spades? Just me? 
How hard is it to draw one card, guys? So I'm the only spade. We got two spades. Okay. Uh, we'll put it here. Um, hearts. Who has hearts? One, two. Two hearts. Clubs. Two. Wait, really? So two diamonds? Diamonds. <laughs> okay. Now have a look at that. Can you guys have a look at that? Like, by chance, right? Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so what's the key idea? What's the key idea? Two things. Number one, if you want to predict how frequently something will happen, um, then you think about its probability, then you should multiply it by how many times are you trying to experiment out. Eight times, 16 times, 24 times is how many times we've done it. No. <laughs> secondly, secondly, and this is worth writing down because I've talked about it, but we haven't actually stated it. Okay. Underneath here, theoretical probability. Theoretical probability is this number here, a quarter, right? It's like what happens in perfect circumstances. Theoretical probability does not equal, almost always, does not equal what we call experimental probability. Experimental probability is what we just did. We did an experiment. We actually tried it out and we saw what happened. There was one time, by chance, because by chance eventually something will happen, where our experimental probability was exactly equal to our theoretical probability. But that was a coincidence, because look, it happened completely differently. Look, there were no diamonds in this first one. Okay, So what we predict isn't actually always what happens in reality. But the longer we do things, the closer these are going to come together. The fancy way we would say it is, these converge. The more and more experiments we do, the closer these two get to each other. Does that make sense?